If you're a coffee lover like I am, you will search high and low for that perfect cup of joe. And if you're also a travel addict, you'll even fly to Colorado to get that award-winning coffee roast. Eat Travel Rock TV is here at the foothills of the Rocky Mountains with coffee's expert extraordinaire to take me on a unique and educational gastronomic adventure. So whether you're a coffee drinker or not, what I'm about to show you today is absolutely fascinating. Now, I've been a big coffee drinker my whole life, but I never thought I was gonna learn as much about coffee as I'm going to today. Now, I'm about to hang out with Tamis Chrisman, who owns Dragonfly Coffee Roasters right here in Boulder, Colorado, and he is a licensed Q grader. Now, what that means is that he is basically like a master sommelier, but for coffee and he's one of only two in the entire state of Colorado. So basically, this guy knows his way around a coffee bean. And he's about to walk me through the entire roasting process from A to Z, show me how it works and why their product, Dragonfly Coffee, is so special. Tamis, I am so excited to be here in your roastery. That's the proper terminology, right? Absolutely, yeah. So I'm um, thrilled to have you. Welcome to Thank Dragonfly you. Coffee Roasters. This is our Boulder Roastery. So we were founded in 2011, and really our focus is to bring exceptional coffees to our consumers through sourcing and roasting coffees from our small farms that we have direct relationships with in over 60 different countries all across the world. So really our focus is on ecological preservation of those farms, the humanity and the actual livelihoods of those farmers, and then and the sustainability of the entire supply chain. And we're trying to bring that to our customers through these exceptional sensory experiences. Right, this is a very impressive, I would say, collection of beans here. So are these all from different places? So you, you see we have a bunch of different coffees and I, I talked about you know, sourcing from multiple different farms. We actually source from 60 different farms all across the world. And I source typically on an average season from about eight or nine different origins, all from small farms that we've built direct relationships with. And that's really important. You know, coffee in the international market, the value is so under value that it ultimately is driving farmers away from coffee as a crop. So what we're trying to do is provide a direct model where we source coffees directly from those farmers and allow them the opportunity to actually thrive and build a sustainable supply chain all the way from seed to consumer. So we have coffee from Sumatra, behind you is India, above us we have some coffee from Honduras, then a 97-point rated coffee from Kenya, Guatemala, Costa Rica, Panama. Represented here, we have coffees from all four corners of the world. That's so incredible. So this is clearly world-class coffee from all over the globe. And I now have the privilege to roast my own batch. It's time to roll up my sleeves, put on my new favorite hair accessory, and get to work. All right, so we loaded it. Yeah, great job. You got the coffee in Thanks. there. That got my a, workout That in. was 154 pounds of coffee you just put in here. Well, my right arm got a workout, so. And so next, we're gonna actually load it up into the hopper above the drum of the roaster and get, get it ready to roast. So we're gonna start the motor of this bucket elevator and it's just gonna take it scoop by scoop up and load it way up there. Okay, so now that the coffee's roasting, I wanna know how the heck do you know how to do all of this? You know, my background is actually in chemical engineering and I just have a love for coffee and cooking and all things sort of food and beverage. Coffee roasting is actually a very simple yet complex process of chemical reactions. So now that we have the coffee roasting, what we're doing is we're basically starting what's called the Maillard reaction. And we're all familiar with it because we've had toast. It's basically sugar browning. And during that process, Coffee itself is very simple. It has a little bit of carbohydrate, a little fat, a little bit of complex sugar, and some you know, sort of organic material. What we're gonna do is then turn it into the most complex thing that we consume on a day-to-day -day basis. We're gonna take it from about four different compounds to over 1,600 compounds, all through this chemical reaction that we are familiar with, the Maillard reaction. Okay, so you clearly understand <laughs> the chemical reaction that's going on. That was like the most amazing explanation I've ever heard for something that you either A, take for granted every day, or B, just never think about in that term. I mean, coffee roasting, you think, oh, you just throw it in an oven and heat it up. Right. So there's a lot more going on. There's a lot more going on. Absolutely. And what we've done is through my chemical engineering, developed special profiles for each of our coffees, which set our coffees apart from others. Because, you know, Yeah, like what makes yours different than somebody else who gets 
the same beans from the same farm? And that, that's an awesome question. And you know, you would think that all coffee roasting is created equal. It's not at all. And through how you manipulate the heat, how you manipulate the airflow, and how you drive that reaction, you're gonna get dramatically different results even with the same coffee. So our proprietary processes set us apart. All right, Kelly, we're almost there. All right, so I'm gonna have you hit the stir in okay. one, two, and hit it. And now open the drum, drum door, go ahead and let it out. Perfect. Oh. Look at that. Wow. Awesome work. I did it all by myself. You did it all by <laughs> yourself. It's like coffee popcorn. Exactly, and that's that first crack. So the internal pressure of the actual coffee bean has forced the water to expand, just like boiling it, to where the fibers and the actual bean pop like popcorn. That is so cool. And you've successfully roasted our crema dolce espresso, which we uh, will try. That's right, it's the espresso. I know then I have more work to do. You are, you're not off work yet. Okay. So I'm sure you're getting thirsty and you need a quick little pick me up by now, but don't worry, just a few more steps. All right, so this is the second and last step. This is the band sealer. So I'm okay. gonna just have you set it on the conveyor and run it through the band. This and it feels so permanent. And this is it. Perfect. All not right. too high, not too low. Look there it that. is. That's perfect. There you go. Perfect, Look Kelly. At that. All right, so finished product. So yeah. where can people actually get it? So all of our coffees are available online through our website, dragonfly.coffee or dragonflycoffeeroasters.com. Interesting. Okay. And all the different varieties. All the different varieties. Right. And in fact, the website is one of the best places to connect directly with us because we often offer coffees that wouldn't be available in any other place, specials on geishas, coffees from Kenya, from Ethiopia, but everything is available through our website. But wait a sec, you think I didn't get to drink a cup? Just you wait until the next episode where I get to partake in an official coffee tasting experience.